Hi guys, it's Sherry here. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial, but first I'm going to talk a little bit about Ipsy. Ipsy is an organization that gives people the chance to experiment with makeup by sending them a makeup bag with either or a makeup bag with five small size samples or a box with five full size samples. Um, I really do enjoy using Ipsy just because it gives me more of an opportunity to experiment and have fun with makeup and I really really do enjoy doing makeup and you know experimenting with different colors different um, products different styles and it's just really really cool and I really do enjoy it um, all you have to do is fill out a personal survey at the beginning to set up your own uh, profile and then based off of that profile the ipsy company or the people who work for the ipsy company will um, put together a custom bag for you and your skin tone, skin type, hair type, all that stuff. And they don't just give out makeup, they give out face masks, hair masks, and nail polishes and stuff like that. And I really do enjoy using it just because you get a variety of different things in one bag or box depending on what you wanted. Alright, now jumping into the video, I'm going to be doing a unicorn kind of inspired look because it's October and Halloween is right around the corner. So this one is going to be full of Halloween trick, uh, tricks, uh, trick or treats, tricks and treats. There we go. Um, um, so jumping in, we're going to start off with a moisturizer and I'm using this glow recipe watermelon juice moisturizer. And I got this in an Ipsy bag. Or ipsy box. Um, I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my finger, warm it up so it's easier to blend into the skin, and kind of press it in, and then rub it, and make sure the face is completely moisturized, and all of that moisturizer is absorbed into the skin to give a nice, um, smooth base. Now I'm going to go in with a primer and I'm going to use this Unicorn Glow, that's unique, Un <laughs> I mean it's convenient, Unicorn Glow Longwear Primer and I also got this in an Ipsy box. The light behind me is a little bright but I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now you should be able to, nope. Alright, and I'm going to also put, just put a little bit and warm it up between my fingers, just to make it easier to blend. And blend that out. Okay, now for foundation, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Fair Ivory. I'm just going to apply dots all over my face. And when I think of a unicorn, I think majestic. So... We're going to add glitter to this look eventually. We'll get there. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and I'm just going to blend in that foundation. Now, I don't know why this light is being so bright today. There we go. I'm going to blend this out. It might be because I have my other light on too.
I'm using a mirror to make sure it's all blended in. All right, now I'm gonna go in with concealer. And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Light Peach. I'm just gonna apply a little bit under the eyes and blend. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a loose trans uh, loose face powder, and this is the Kate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Whoa. Pick up some, tap off the excess, and just set that concealer and that. Um, foundation in place. Once your face is all set, we're going to move on to the eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill them in with a pencil. And I'm using this Wander Beauty pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I'm going to use a mirror for this too, so I can get them perfect. Because perfection, I see majestic perfection with a unicorn, kind of. So we're going to kind of work off of perfection. Which is, you know, impossible. But we're going to try. So I'm just going to follow the line underneath my eyebrows. And then brush the hairs down and follow the line above my eyebrows. Just following the natural arch of my eyebrow. like so I'm going to do the same thing to the other eyebrow. Okay. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to do the eyes. So to start off with the eyes, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Multi-Stick in white as a base for the eyeshadows. Okay. 
I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the brow bone. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. And this is gonna give, this is kind of like just giving a base to put the eyeshadows on so they're more pigmented because one it's very like it's tacky and two it's white so it's going to make the like colors pop even more and go ahead and do the same thing to this eye And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow palette that I got yesterday. And I'm so happy about it because it's like very pigmented. But this is the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Edit Palette. And it's got a nice orangey yellow, peach, pink, purple, blue, and green. We're going to stick here. I'm going to open it up. We're going to be using these four colors right here. So this pink one is going to go on the lid. This one's going to be the transition color. This one's going to blend this one out. And then the purple one is going to go on the lower lash line. Alrighty. Okay. So to start off, I'm going to put the pink on my lid. So I'm going to go in with this pink right here and pop that right on the lid. And this is going to be very vibrant because there's a white sticky underbase. So it's going to have the very majestic, magical, pigmented feel to it. Like so. Wow, this is very pigmented. This is a pretty color. I don't want to like blend it yet just because if I blend it it'll remove it'll help it'll get rid of the, the white that I already have above it. So I'm just gonna place all the colors and then after they're placed and on the sticky tacky um uh base, blend them. So I'm just, it's okay if it looks like really messy right now because we're going to blend later. And I, I normally blend as I'm putting on the colors, but for this one I'm going to um, kind of wait to put them on or to blend them a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take a dense fluffy brush and this orange peach shade right here. I'm going to pop that into the crease. Okay, after I place that color, I'm going to take a less dense brush and pick up this yellow-orange color right here. 
Whoa, that was very pigmented. And I'm gonna pop that up to the uh, brow bone. And I'm gonna go ahead with that same brush and blend all of this together. Like so. All right, now I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm gonna pick up this purple shade right here. And I'm gonna apply that underneath the lash line. Like so. And I'm gonna blend it down a little bit more to smoke it out, like so. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Coal Crayon Eyeliner that hasn't been opened yet, so I gotta open it. But it's the white eyeliner. This is very difficult to open. Probably should have opened this before I started recording, but that's okay. Um, and the reason why I'm using a white eyeliner instead of a black eyeliner is because black can be really harsh. And for this look, I don't want any like harshness because it's such a light look. Can't do this with nails. I cannot open this to save my life. I'm sorry, this is taking so long to open this. I have nails, so it's really hard to open. I can't do that because I don't, it's not even long enough to bite down on. Wow. They made this packaging hard to get into. This is not working for me. Slowly but surely we'll get it.
I've been working at this for a really long time. Thought I had it. No, I have it. Okay, sweet. Maybe. Don't stop. My hands are so sweaty that it's not working. This is really taking so long and I'm really sorry you guys. There we go. I'll have to get the rest off later. Anyway, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna take that eyeliner and I'm just going to... Where's my mirror? There's my mirror. Now that I got the eyeliner done, finally, um, I'm gonna go in with a mascara, and I'm gonna use this superhero, it cosmetic superhero mascara in black, and apply that normally. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and put on some blush and I'm gonna use this, oh, hi, that was bright, this Ofra palette here and it has two highlighters and a blush. I'm gonna use this blush. This is my new favorite blush because it it's not too dark but it's not too light. And I'm just going to apply that onto the cheeks and the nose.
Okay. And then I'm gonna take a fan brush and using the same palette, I'm, I'm gonna pick up the shade of highlighter right here. And apply that right on the cheekbones, the tip of the nose. Now I'm gonna go in with this glitter gel in silver and purple. And we're gonna get silver because that's all that can reach to the top right now. I'm just going to squeeze a little out and put it on my finger and blend that onto the places I highlighted. Now that I got the glitter on, it's very wet. Good glitter in my hair. Now that we got the glitter on, um, I'm gonna go in and with a lip gloss just because I feel that lipstick, like a lipstick, would be too dark for a unicorn. So I'm using this NYX Butter Gloss in uh, Creme Brulee. And then we're going to take that glitter again. Get some on the finger. Pop that right over the lip gloss. And that's everything. So we did a nice unicorn look. Um, we used white eyeliner to open the eyes a little bit more with, um, mascara we use the um nyx ultimate edit palette um and the yeah the petite palette in the shade in the brights um palette we used a little bit of glitter we use we did the base the foundation concealer normal we didn't use any bronzer because i kind of figured that that would be a little too harsh on this makeup look um and that's it bye